Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our inner roof rack system with the 54 inch long crossbars, the through feet for naked roof and the custom fit kit for your 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. If you want to carry cool items like kayaks or surfboards, paddle boards or if you want to carry a roof mountain bike rack or have extra cargo options with a roof box or a roof basket. What you first need is an aftermarket roof rack just like this. So this is designed to create that roof rack system even though you have a naked roof on your Chevrolet Equinox. So we'll talk about how it does that as well as how to install it right here in this video. So the crossbars we have here are the 54 inch long crossbars. So there's different options for you depending on what you're carrying. If you want the longer kit, that's gonna be this. If you want something that's more low profile, feels more flush, that's gonna be the 51 inch long crossbar kit. I prefer this length because it gives you more overhang. So measuring from the end of the tower to right before the end cap, we have two and a half inches of overhang. So for some accessories, you're able to clamp them around the edge and that makes it easier to reach whatever you have up on there. Now with a naked roof rack though, you are limited when it comes to the crossbar spread. That's because this is custom fit, so it has hooks that fit around the contours of your vehicle. So you wanna make sure they're in the perfect spot. So measuring from crossbar spread, which is end or I guess center to center, it would sit at two feet and a half inches so 24 and a half inches apart so if you have accessories that have their clamps in a specific spot just double check the appropriate crossbar spread to see if it fits with your roof rack next is going to be the height added to the top of your roof so measuring from the top of the roof to the top of the crossbar we have it at four and three quarter inches or about that measurement and that's going to be where your cargo sits so let's say you're carrying skis and snowboards. You're gonna have those sitting up on there, plus on top of your accessories. If you have extra large bindings, you wanna make sure you have enough clearance between your cargo and the top of the roof so it doesn't hit your vehicle. This does have a weight capacity of 140 pounds. So if you're carrying around your different cargo, make sure to add up the weight of the cargo and the weight of your accessory and make sure that doesn't exceed 40 pounds. Another thing with this is that this is made of aluminum. So that means your roof rack system itself is going to be lightweight, although your towers will probably be the heaviest part of the system. These are gonna be the Inno Aero bars. And I pretty much like how our more modern bars are designed to be aerodynamic like this. If you had the traditional round or square crossbars and you went down the highway, you would remember hearing all that wind drag and wind noise. This helps reduce that wind drag and wind noise. Plus, it has a T-track system. So once you take the end caps off, or if you don't have enough clearance for underneath for your clamps, you just slide your T-Track accessories into it. You don't have to do any cutting or fitting around the accessory. Tighten it down. That way you can utilize the entire 54 inch long crossbar and you're not limited to where the clamps can fit around. So this system utilizes the through feet towers that allow you to have those crossbars that have overhang. One thing I really like about these towers is how they have integrated locks. So some other brands require you to add lock cores to get everything in place and secure. This one has two keys included and four lock cores. So one for each tower. That way, with that end cap locked in place, people don't have access to the hardware to take off your roof rack. Now this does not lock your crossbar itself though. So if you want to lock your accessories, like the T-Track accessories that are mounted onto your crossbars, you may want to consider cable locks, locking straps, or accessories that have their own locks. So this has a custom fit kit. That's why it's very important to use our fit guide here at eTrailer.com on our website to make sure you get the right fit for your vehicle. So for example, we have these pads that fit around the contours of our roof. 
then we also have these hooks that fit perfectly into our doors. So with everything lined up, if you follow all the measurements correctly, you can install it and then even slam your door on your roof rack without any worries. So this kit is going to include everything you need to install it. But there's some other things that I use just to make it a little bit easier for me. One of them is going to be the Moki door step. This clips right into the side of your door, gives you that extra height, helpful for strapping things down. And speaking of straps, we also have the e-trailer cam buckle straps. You can pick up a pair here at e-trailer if you have other cargo and accessories to make it easier to strap things down and secure it. Now the process itself may be a little bit involved, so let's take a look at that. The install process will look kind of confusing at first, and that's just how it is with naked roof racks. But that's what this video is for. Honestly, this is going to be a very easy to do process as long as you follow the instructions properly and get your measurements right. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out why are there different numbers for the pads as well as the hooks. And then we can figure out what our front crossbar is going to look like and our rear crossbar is going to look like. I already installed the front crossbar, let's install the rear one together. So underneath the foot pads is going to be a number. So this is four, two, three, and that's going to fit right onto your towers. And you're going to want to make sure it faces the right way. So to make that easier, we are going to install the towers. And notice how this has tabs on top as well as a bolt that's going to line up with our plate. So the plate fits right into this opening here. So you're going to slide that all the way out to the edge of your crossbar right over there. Then you're going to fit the plate into that tray. So just follow or line up those tabs and those openings and then slide it back through. Now fit your crossbar over the plate. So remember that's going to line up with that bolt and then use your included tool. This is gonna be an Allen key included with your kit to slightly tighten down that bolt onto the plate. So we're gonna put the pad onto the tower now. And if you're not sure which way it should face, there are little bolts or screws there. Just line that up with the holes on the pad and it should pop right through. Then you're going to measure for where these towers should go. So you just press on that lever on the inside and then you push the tower through, line it up with the measurements given in your instructions and make sure it's the same on both sides. Just double check that before you tighten it down with the included tool. Once you have those towers secured to the correct measurements, let's go check it out on top of our vehicle. So I'm not have, I don't put the hooks on just yet. We want this at 500 millimeters away from our center stay or center portion of our door. So let's just get it roughly up there. So once you have everything lined up, you've double checked that your measurements are good. And you'll also see that you did this right if you can see how this pad is perfectly flush against the ridges of our roof. So now our next step is just to line up the hook. We have the metal washer, the plastic washer, and then the bolt. Just slightly thread that on by hand before you tighten it down. Remember, when tightening down, try to tighten it down like 75% on one side, then you go to the other side. Just go back and forth so you don't over tighten it and skew it. You're going to use a Inno Torque tool. So this one is set to three Newton meters. So you want to use this so you don't over tighten down your roof rack. So you want to keep tightening it until you hear it click and then make sure it clicks twice kind of like a gas cap there we go that was our click once you've tightened down everything and just double check that all four towers are good and that all the pads are flush on the ridges of your roof your final step is to put the end caps on there's two different end caps one is going to be the tower so that just kind of clips into that hinge you have it in the unlocked position. Turn it to the locked position to secure that end cap. Then you have the nice end caps for the crossbars. Those just pop right in. Do all four tower end caps, all four crossbar end caps. Once everything's in place, that's it. You're ready to load this up and hit the road. 
And this right here was a look at our inner roof rack system with a 54 inch long crossbars, the through feet for naked roofs, and the custom fit kit for your 2020 Chevrolet Equinox.